Hello watchers and hello subscribers. Welcome to 28th Ruby tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to teach you more about modules. Now, in the last tutorial, we read about the syntax of modules like this. We learned how to use the constants. We learned how to use the methods in the module, how to access it, how to print the values. Now, in this tutorial, I will show you the class within the module. Now, first of all, what are the syntax of defining a class within the module? Now let's check it out. First, we have to define our module. Here I have taken the module name as module underscore name. Now, within this, for defining a class, we have to use our usual syntax of defining a class. Class, space, class underscore name. And there's the end, end keyword. Now, within this white space, this is the body of the class. And this whole class belongs to the body of this module. Now, let us define our method def space my method and this is the end of this function. This my method is a user defined function. Within this function, we can write our codes as per our wish. Now, how to access this class? How to create an object outside this module? Now, let's check the syntax. Here, obj is our object name equal to module name with double colon which is followed by a class name dot new. As we are familiar with this guys, class name dot new creates a new object. The only difference in syntax is that we have to add a prefix module name then double colon. This will create our object obj. Now how to access this my method which is within the class name and this class name is within the module. Now let's check the syntax obj dot my method this is going to call this method the syntax you are quite familiar with this guys there is no change in the syntax of calling this method with the help of the object we just have to write the object name dot my method now let me show you the example of using a class within a module with the help of the codes now first let us create a new ruby file let's say class in module dot rb dot rb extension is very compulsory guys now let's create it now let's start our coding class in module right now let us define our module let's say my module 2 enter let us define our class test class now let us define a constructor def initialize let us write a statement test class object created now let us define our user defined method let's say my method let's write a statement put as it is a user defined method yeah now this is our module within this module we are having the test class and within this test class we are having a default constructor initialize which is going to be executed as soon as the object is created now this is our user defined method this will be executed only if we are calling this method now let us access this class methods from outside the module let us first create the object my object equal to what is the module name my module to double colon then what test class dot new right now let us access this my method my object dot my method now let's save it and execute it here we go let me show you the full program and the output now when my object is created my module to double colon test class dot new then this statement is going to call the default constructor initialize so put as test class object created is getting executed and printed 
Now, as soon as this statement is executed, my object dot my method, then it is going to call this method my method, which is present inside the class test. So it is going to print it is a user defined method. In this way, we are able to access the user defined methods of the class or default constructor of the class. So this is all for this tutorial, guys. Meanwhile, if you like what you saw. Please subscribe to my channel and please leave a comment below my video. I need your feedback guys and catch you guys in next tutorial. Thank you.